In this tutorial, we'll look at ways that you as a staff person can navigate the book's ladder. To access your yearbook's ladder, you go to the book module by clicking on the book icon at the top of eDesign. The main component in the book module is the ladder, and ladder is just a yearbook term that refers to this visual representation of all the book's pages. They're arranged in double page spreads, the left hand page and the right hand page. And to the outside of each page, we see information that was filled in by the advisor or the editor, such as the proposed contents of the page, the deadline assigned to the page, and any staff members who've been assigned to work on the page. You'll also see a thumbnail preview of the current contents of that page. Further to the outside, we'll see the page's status, such as unedited, edited, improved, finished, submitted, etc. If you want to navigate the ladder, you can grab the scroll bar to the right and click and drag to go down in the ladder, drag up to go up in the ladder. If there's a specific page that you want to be taken to, the easiest way is to use this jump to field. Click to place your cursor inside of this field, type in the page number and hit enter or return on the keyboard and eDesign will take you directly to that page. As a staff person, it's also really helpful to be able to focus in on the pages that you've been assigned to. You could just look for your name under the page assignments. For this example, I am a student called David Smith, and I could look down the ladder and find all the places where David Smith is assigned to pages. That could be good, but it might be a little tedious. There's also this clue here with this star to the outside of the page. That's an indication that these are pages that I've been assigned to. So if I scroll up and down in the ladder and look for the stars, it makes it easier for me to see the pages that I've been assigned to. Even better is to go to the View menu and choose Show Only My Pages, and then eDesign will just show me the pages to which I've been assigned. To go back to the full ladder view, go back to View and turn off Show Only My Pages. Over to the right, you'll see this pull-down menu that lists all the different page statuses. You could use this pull-down menu to filter the ladder by Edited or Improve or In Preflight but that might be used more by the advisor and the editors. The advanced search function can also be helpful. If you click to open up advanced search, you can combine various parameters. So for instance, let's say I wanted to find all of the pages that I've been assigned to for the December deadline. I could click on my name and then come over and click on the deadline that I'm interested in and then click apply. And now eDesign will just show me the pages that I've been assigned to that are also assigned to the December deadline. So it makes it easy for me to focus in on the pages that I need to be working on. And that's the basics of navigating the ladder in eDesign. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can use the practice spread in eDesign. To access the practice spread, go to the book module, and at the top of the ladder, you will see this icon that looks like a notebook and pen. Click this icon to open your practice spread. Each eDesign user has his or her own practice spread. There are a few ways that the practice spread can be helpful. You can use the practice spread to learn how to use eDesign even before you have been assigned to any pages. You can also use the practice spread as a place to experiment with ideas without affecting any actual pages in your book. In the practice spread, you can perform any action that you would on a real spread of the yearbook, with one exception. You cannot save the practice spread. Its purpose is to be a place to learn and experiment. If you do create something on your practice spread that you would like to use on actual pages in your yearbook, you can save your work as a template. Go to the File menu and choose Save as Template. The contents of the practice spread will then be saved into the template library and you can drag and drop it onto the contents of an actual yearbook spread. When you leave the practice spread, you are presented with this notification that lets you know that your work will not be saved. And that's how you use the practice spread in eDesign. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you as a staff member can open, save, and close pages in eDesign. 
In the book module of eDesign, you'll see a representation of all the pages in your book. To the outside of each page, you'll see a link that allows you to edit or view the page. As a staff person, you can only edit pages to which you have been assigned by the advisor or the editor. If you are assigned to the page, you will see the edit link. If you are not assigned to the page, you will only see the view link. If you click the view link, it opens the spread in page design, but you will not be able to change any of the elements on the page. To exit page design, you can click return to book view at the top. If you click the edit link on a page to which you are assigned, it will open that page in page design and you will be able to make changes to the page. When you open a page in edit mode, you will notice that the opposite page has a translucent gray overlay. This means that you do not have the opposite page open yet. If you have been assigned to the opposite page as well, you can click on this button to open it in edit mode. You will need to have both pages open to be able to place most templates or add objects that cross the gutter. If you would like to save your work, go to the File menu and choose Save. If you attempt to close a page with unsaved work, eDesign will ask you if you would like to save the work before closing. While you're in page design, you can move up and down in the ladder by using the Next and Previous buttons. The Next button takes you to the next spread in the book, and the Previous button takes you to the previous spread. The spread will open in edit mode if you are assigned to the pages, and it will open in view mode if you are not assigned to the pages. You can also access a mini ladder by clicking on the All Pages button. This will allow you to go to any other page and open it in edit or view mode. If you would like to leave page design and return to the full ladder, you can either go to the File menu and choose Close Window, or click on the Return to Book View button in the upper right. And that's the basics of how you as a staff person can open, save, and close pages in eDesign. In eDesign, only one user can be editing a page at a time. When one user is editing a page, the page will be locked to other users. When a page is locked because another staff member is editing the page, you can only open the page in view mode. eDesign only allows one person at a time to edit a page so that one person does not save over another person's work. To illustrate this, I am logged in in this window as a staff member named Caitlin. And in this window, I'm logged in as a staff member named David. When I navigate to the book module, I'll see that both David and Caitlin are assigned to pages four and five. I'm going to open page four in edit mode as David. Then when I switch back over to Caitlin's account and go to the book module, I see that page four has this padlock icon on it, indicating that it is locked. If I hover over the icon, I'll see that David has the page open for editing. Since David only opened page four for editing, Caitlin is still able to open page five. When I look at the open button on page four, it tells me that page four is currently being edited by David. If I exit page five as Caitlin and switch back over to David's account, I'll see that David is now able to open page five as well. If another user is editing a page or spread, you can still view that page or spread by clicking on the view link. This will allow you to view the latest saved version of the page or spread. It does not allow you to see what the person is doing live on the page or spread. It just gives you a view of the last saved version. If you close your browser while you have a page open in page design, the page will remain locked for a few minutes. If you immediately open your browser again and log back into eDesign, you may see that the page is still locked for editing by you. This lock will time out in a few minutes and you'll be able to log back into the page. It is always best to exit the page and log out of eDesign before closing your browser. And that's when and why pages are locked in eDesign.